Hi, Kitty Cats. Today is May 2nd, 2024, and I want to address a comment I got regarding my claim that gender-affirming surgery has startlingly low regret rates. The comment comes from P Train Boy, who says, and I quote, the CAS report says otherwise. Well, P Train Boy, let's talk about the differences between these two sets of data. The meta-analysis that I discussed used adults and self-reported quality of life data for their analysis. It is a qualitative analysis. They ask the patient before surgery, what is your quality of life? And then after surgery, what is your quality of life? And look to see, was there an improvement in how the patient felt? The CAS report, on the other hand, struggles to be a quantitative analysis. That is, they were looking for numbers that they could use in a statistical analysis. And they chose numbers of minors who received gender-affirming care, any form of gender-affirming care, and whether or not they went on to receive further gender-affirming care when they became adults. The results the CAS report came to was that gender-affirming care as a minor did not contribute to gender-affirming care as an adult. Now, startlingly absent from that analysis is the quality of life. Did the patients feel better receiving gender-affirming care? What is the relationship between further gender-affirming care and quality of life? There's no answer. In fact, I'm curious if this data confirms that gender-affirming care is effective, that these minors were able to get gender-affirming care and, and through exploring their identity, felt much better about themselves and went on to be completely well-adjusted adults. It's a good question. And P Train Boy, I hope that addresses your question. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.